see in the sunspot, look. Look at the ears. He's right orienting for that sunspot. Temple also improves the livestock industry by training a new generation of animal scientists. She's devoted to her students and to passing on what she's learned about food animal behavior and humane livestock handling. And one of the handiest little things is that walking back fine. So they know when they study with Temple Grandin, they're learning from someone who is the best in the world at what she does. Like a true living flag. legend. This right here is drawn a single flat. I came to CSU and I signed up for the class and I looked down at the instructor's name and I go, Temple Grandin, is that the Temple Grandin? And I like turn over to the professor who was helping me and he's like, yes. I was like, I'm in her class. Okay. For this one, I was trying to incorporate the loading dock here. Temple just raises the bar for all of us. She's frankly someone who's taught us every one of us has a diamond in us. And if we can get that to shine and maximize our strengths, we're going to touch all kinds of students. We're going to drive their passion and find a way to get them excited about what we teach. And she's found a way to do what she does best, to add value, to solve problems, to really invigorate students and reach the community ways that most of us can't. See, one of the things I want to get you really thinking about working with cattle and horses is Watch what that animal's doing. Watch its eyes. She earned a spot on Time Magazine's list of 100 most influential people in the world and never misses the opportunity to lead her one o'clock class on campus. In fact, a lot of the soldiers we built. First of all, I think being a mentor is really important. And when my graduate students uh, graduate, I still uh, mentor them even after they've graduated. And I really like teaching, and I make sure that I'm home on Tuesday afternoons you know, for teaching my cattle handling class. I also do similar lectures down at the vet school. Big ag is bad. I would get the best, I think the best thing what I've done is just explain to them how stuff works. She's world known and to have her teach one of my classes was just amazing. So I definitely sought her out and I wanted to, to learn from her. People ask me, you know, how did autism help me in my work with animals? I'm a total visual thinker. If you follow her practices and understand where she's coming from, you just really have a leg up on the industry. Her students and what they learn are one of Dr. Grandin's most important legacies. You actually, in reality, I think would want much bigger, bigger pens. sorting pens. Okay. Kind of helped me prove to myself that I can accomplish what my goals are. I am determined enough and, I, and if you're passionate enough, you can achieve what you want. Then you know that your system really is right. She always knows what she wants and she won't let anything stop that no matter what obstacle comes in the way. And that's just an image for me and somehow I can follow that. When I do talk to students privately, I always want to talk about career plans. What are your goals? Because it's so important for when students graduate that they go out and they get into a good career. Because for me, Career is my life. Having an exciting career, that's what makes life worthwhile. I have big shoes to fill working with Temple and having her as, as my mentor because of what she's accomplished, her drive to make a difference, and where she's making a difference. Just come to the class. Everywhere in this world, people are labeled and judged and she has fought past that and shown people that there's so much more. As a person in general and then what she's done in the industry and just a woman that's very knowledgeable and smart and inspiring in so many ways I can't even describe all of the ways that she's certainly inspiring. Any idea what your major might be? Science. Psychology. Her early life is the focus of an award-winning HBO movie called Temple Grandin. The story captivated millions around the world. Lots of Danny's looking at you. So you can see all around without moving his head. Immediately I read the script, I thought, this is such an amazing story, you could not make this up. Something about this movie, something about her story, really reaches to people. And I think it's, you know, they look at it and they, they see, this is not the story of someone unlike me, this is a story of someone like me that I can relate to. Maybe more extreme in some ways, but the humanity of Temple is really what comes across to people. Different, not less. Different, but not less. The movie helped a lot. It made people more aware, more insightful, more kindly. If Temple had done nothing more with her life than just revolutionize the way that we treat animals in the, the meat processing industry, she would have had a triumphant life. 
But to be able to see beyond that, to look back at her own story and see what of that story she could tell to other people who were in a similar position to her and seeing always the things that you can do, not the things that you can't do. Look at my life, she seemed to be saying. You may be as autistic as, as I am, less autistic than, than I am, but you have a life and I had a life and I can teach you lessons about dealing with yourself. Sure. Look, all this does is to convince me that we are not equipped to deal with Miss Grandin's needs. It makes her a better student. She's able to concentrate, to interact with others this more This isn't easily. very scientific. There is no empirical evidence. I can evidence. do an experiment. And that's what the HBO movie showed to people is that, you know, when you hear this word, you don't have to just think, uh-oh. You can also think Temple Grandin. She encourages people like Betty Lehman. When my son was diagnosed in 1990, the very first book that I read was Temple's book. You know, you're so lost, you feel so helpless, and then you read about one person that learned to make the most out of everything in her life. It gives you hope. One end of the spectrum, you have totally different services. You've got totally spectrum. different kids, this absolutely. This is something where really well, this was so fast. And they don't fit. She lives a very important life, and it's impacted me and thousands and thousands of people like me. Thank you for the inspiration. Okay. Thanks to Temple, Betty's son Eli works, volunteers, and at least once a month prepares dinner for his family and friends. I will help you. That knife isn't very sharp. Lucy, could we have Sunia's knife? Can you get it, Eve? Yeah. Oh. Eli, you figured it out. Nice job. He's a wonderful, wonderful, engaged, active, productive person in the community. And yet, every never that anyone's ever heard about autism was applied to him. He'll never talk. He'll never learn. He'll never have friends. He's never going to be able to say he loves you. And all of that was not true. But that's because from Temple, I learned advocacy. She took what her experiences were she gave them to us. She wrote about them, she talked about them, she shared her life, and that became our beacon. Now the thing is, you gotta be careful about the sensory overload, because if you shove a kid into sensory overload, that's just not gonna work. And the other principle is no surprises. Temple's success and her autism are intertwined. Autism allows Dr. Temple Grandin to think in pictures. How's he doing? The ability makes her visionary. Really, really good slides. That's what saved me. Okay, I had fantastic slides That's Callahan. Good. We've got to get kids exposed to interesting things. Let's say I had not gone to my aunt's ranch because I was scared to go. Then I would have never have gone into cattle. You've got to get kids out doing interesting things. Hi, how are you? In this whole journey, I looked to Temple when my son was first diagnosed. I look to Temple today because she was well supported, because there were demands put upon her by her family, by her educators, and they believed in her. She was able to triumph in her life. That is so inspirational. Is she fully verbal? And yes. What's she good at doing? And so when you have a child with autism, that gift that Temple gave to us of belief it makes all the difference because you can put aside and say, yes, you can tell me that my child will never achieve, will never learn, will never, 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 but I don't believe you. I don't believe you because I have a hero and my hero made it.